Hey y'all, today I want to talk to you about how the human body is similar to that of a car's gas tank. And I know you may be thinking, wait, for real? And I am for real. But rather than talk about it, let me show you real quick. Our vehicles are amazing and they take us so many places. But we'd never let our gas tank get low to the point that we'd be in danger of running out, right? But yet, we oftentimes allow ourselves to drain our mental gas tank by overexerting ourselves, which leads to burnout, stress, and even anxiety. But just as we would fill up our car's gas tank when it was low, we need to also fill up our mental gas tank when we're feeling those signs of burnout and stress. Just as filling up our car's gas tank will allow us to get to where we need to go, filling up our mental gas tank will allow us to continue on as well. Naturally, the first question that comes to mind is, what are some things that I can do to fill up my mental gas tank so I can avoid burnout, stress, and anxiety? The tough part is, is that it's different for every individual. What works for me may not necessarily work for you. So rather than talk about what I like to do to fill my tank, I thought that I would show you. And we need to start with a travel montage. For me, the things that add value to my tank is time spent exploring and time with my family. If I can create opportunities for those things, I find that my tank begins to fill. If I can combine those things, the filling process is expedited. In these two activities, I find an opportunity to escape and I'm able to focus on those items that are most important to me. And while I'm showing an example of a trip outside of the state that I live in, it doesn't need to be something extravagant that includes air travel and a hotel. In reality, taking a day trip, even as small as an extended drive that allows me to get away for a bit, will do just fine. As you begin thinking about ways to fill your tank, there are two challenges that you'll need to overcome. First, you need to identify what the activity is that allows you to fill your tank. Once you have identified the task, you'll second need to schedule time to do those activities. I'm not very good at detaching from my work and using the time off that I've earned. I need to be intentional in scheduling time to spend time away or with my family. I'd also add that these activities that you identify can be extremely simple. Even a 10 minute walk around the neighborhood can be enough to clear your mind and to get a much needed charge. Find what works for you and do it. So there you have it. That is a sampling of things that I do to add to my mental gas tank. This is an ongoing process, one that is consistently evolving, evolving in ways that add to your gas tank. The important thing is, is that you are taking time for yourself, that you're keeping your tank 
full rather than empty. As you do this, you're able to reduce those feelings of burnout, stress, and anxiety. If you have comments or suggestions on things that you do to fill up your own tank, please leave them in the comments below. That's it for this episode of Take 10. We'll see you next time.